The main objective of this screencast is for you to enter your courses for next year on Naviance through the Family Connection Course Planner. Every student must select seven fall courses and seven spring courses. Washburn Rural High School is fortunate to offer several incredible academic opportunities for students. We encourage you to explore all options such as Honors, AP, IB, Washburn Tech, Dual Credit, CTE, and JROTC. Students are encouraged to take the most rigorous course of study in which they can be challenged and successful. A strong academic program correlates with a higher college graduation rate. Any student who wants to take on the challenge of honors or accelerated classes has the opportunity to do so. To start the enrollment process, log into your Naviance account. This page is a reminder of how you can log in. To create a new four-year plan, the following lists the steps that you should take in order to create it. So let's walk through that. Once you have logged into Naviance, this should be your home page. To start by creating your graduation plan, click Courses. Under My Course Plan, click Manage My Course Plans. Here you're able to manage your different plans you have created. If you have not created a plan yet, click Add New Plan and then Create New Draft Plan. Here you can see different types of plans you can build. This one, the Washburn Rural High School Graduation Plan, allows you to meet the minimum graduation requirements at Washburn Rural High School. If you plan to pursue the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, click this plan. But for this screencast, we're going to go through the Washburn Rural High School Graduation Plan. At this page, you're going to be able to modify your courses and start creating your plan of study. On the left-hand side, it shows the requirements you need in order to graduate from Washburn Rural High School. Let's begin by clicking English. Again, today's focus is just filling in the seven fall courses and seven spring courses. So, if you are a freshman, you want to make sure that you click English 9 for the fall and English 9 for the spring. If you hover over the class, it will give you a description of the course and also it will tell you if there's prerequisites for the course. When you're done clicking the class, you can scroll down and click Add Selected Courses to your draft plan and OK. Once you have added classes into your draft plan, they will show on the right hand side under Grade 9. If you've made an error and did not want to add a class to your draft plan, you can click the red X button. And that will remove your course from your draft plan. To continue this process, go back to the requirements and keep going through the core classes and then scroll down for more of the electives. I've now gone to the mathematics portion. Again, make sure to read the course descriptions and the prereq in order to figure out which classes might be best for you. Here I'm going to click again a fall class and a spring class and add the selected to my draft plan. I have now gone through my plan and have added five credits. I've gone through English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Physical Education, and Biological Science. You'll notice in my draft plan it's continued to grow and the requirements section there's some green check marks. That means in my plan I've added one full credit and that has fulfilled that requirement. For English, Math, and Social Studies I still need to add more classes to, into my plan in order to fulfill that requirement. Since I have added my core classes and I now have five credits in my plan, I still need to finish my pre-enrollment process by adding two more credits. I can browse through the computer tech, fine art, speech, social studies elective or practical art electives, or I can even look through all the different electives that Washburn Rural has to offer. I can browse through all these options by either going through the elective subgroups, I can filter it by going through subject area, or I can also filter it by grade level. Make sure that you're filling in a class for fall and spring and making sure that you fulfill the prereq. 
For example, if I click the Fine Arts, and let's say I want to take the drawing class for the fall. If I hover over the class, it's telling me that the prereq is a passing grade in visual art experience, and that I also need to either be a 10th, 11th, or 12th grader. So as a 9th grader, if I even tried to attempt to take this class, I would say add selected course and it would show I would not be able to put it in my plan for ninth grade. Once you have completed adding seven fall classes to your draft plan and seven courses to your spring plan, click the third step and review and finalize your plan. Here it will show you how many credits you put into your plan, how many credits you still need to add to your plan, and how many courses you've completed. You can scroll through and see the different requirements and if you'll need work or if it looks good and you've added enough classes to your plan. You can also view by grade level and this will reaffirm that you've added seven classes to your grade 9 plan. Once you have completed reviewing and finalizing your plan and have completed your next year's enrollment, we encourage you to go back and complete your four-year plan completely.